Hello everyone, I am Lata Jha and welcome to the latest episode of our show Business of Entertainment. Your weekly dose of the financial performance of what's buzzing in the world of entertainment at the movies, on TV and on streaming platforms around you. Superhero film Brahmastra that released in cinemas earlier this month was being viewed as a test case for the recovery of floundering Bollywood as well as Star Studios, formerly Fox Star Studios, as the film cost over 300 crore to make. Film industry analysts had said while there were high expectations from the film with impressive advance bookings, its box office performance will also determine if producer Disney India will continue to invest in local movie production that had been on a pause since the pandemic. This May, Brahmastra became the first Indian film to be added to Disney's global theatrical film slate announcement. Along with the Ranbir Kapoor and Alia Bhatt starrer were big ticket Hollywood titles like Thor Love and Thunder, Black Panther Wakanda Forever and Avatar The Way of Water. Directed by Ayan Mukherjee, Brahmastra has released in Hindi, Tamil, Telugu, Kannada and Malayalam and in 2D, 3D and IMAX formats, benefiting from higher ticket prices for these premium formats. Having laid most fears to rest, Brahmastra had made over 154 crore at last count in Hindi alone and around 173 crore across all languages, with some acceptance particularly for the Telugu version. Keeping ambition and scale aside, Brahmastra, at its core, is a love story that flounders because there is no explanation to why these two people are in love, or even who they are, where they come from, what their motivations are, other than the fact that some of them are not burnt by fire. Mukherjee's film is so disinterested in fleshing out its characters with absurd dialogues aggravating the crisis that you wonder how the same man had once come up with the self-assured wake-up Sid. The expensive CGI, amateurish in its own way, doesn't help when the writing feels so immature, dated and rushed, and the plot lines more than inspired by the Marvel and Rajamoli school of cinema. Meanwhile, general entertainment channels on television are anticipating 25-30% to 30% spike in advertising this festive quarter compared to the previous quarter. This comes on the back of the new tentpole entertainment offerings lined up in the non-fiction category. While Sony is already running KBC and will have the Kapil Sharma show and Indian Idol on air soon, Viacom 18 will have different language versions of Big Boss besides Jhalak Diklaja. That's all we have as far as entertainment goes this week. We will be back next week with more news and context on all that's fun and entertaining in hopefully better times. Till then, stay safe. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, this video is also available as a podcast on various platforms.